Eminem has dropped plenty of records over the years that were never officially released, somewhere under V12, somewhere under his name. One of the most famous examples is Infinite. You can go up to people and ask if they like the album Infinite, and they'll say they've never even heard of it. Now that would be fine, because I'm sure a lot of people haven't heard of all the D12 albums, but the sad part is this is arguably one of Eminem's best lyrical performances. Luckily, if you've never heard it, it's not too hard to find a quick YouTube search or Google search should find it for you, you don't need to do too much digging. But I strongly believe Infinite should be remastered and re-released. Let me tell you why. Firstly, Infinite was Eminem's first album he ever made. It showed the world that he was skilled lyrically, and that he could keep a good flow over beats. Speaking of lyrics, if you listen back to any of those songs, any song on Infinite, you're gonna see the rhyme schemes, how insane they are. Almost every word rhymes in a sentence, you got multiple syllabic rhyme schemes that are kept throughout entire verses, it's pretty crazy. Flows, he can keep his flows for a long time and he can switch flows perfectly. And the cadence on every single beat on the entire album, honestly, is amazing. I don't think it's too crazy to say that the flows and the rhyme schemes on Infinite were crazier than on Slim Shady LP. Slim Shady LP is just love for its content matter. The comedic side of it but infinite was definitely more lyrically complex i wouldn't say that makes it a better album but if you're really into the lyrics and the wordplay and all that you're gonna love infinite another cool part about it is the personal reflections that he does on it he opens up about everything there's a line that stood out to me i just listened back to it and he said i gotta get rich i got a baby on the way i don't got enough money to get on the bus and that's just crazy if you look back what is it almost 30 years later 28 years later now eminem's a multi-millionaire he's the greatest selling rapper of all time and being able to see that struggle that he came from it's pretty crazy i like that you can really see that it's not luck he put the work in he wanted it for years before he actually got the fame that he wanted i've had people comment saying that it's underproduced and i could see why you think that it's not like crazy you know 808s like he has now but i love the production it sounds like jazz it's really chill and the beats complement his voice and his lyrics perfectly it just shows that he can stand out on any production that he gets on another thing is the whole wide range of subgenres that he gets on if you want to call it he has sad songs he has motivational songs he has the crazy lyrical braggadocious i guess you could say songs and it's really cool to see the versatility even from day one from eminem i know he worked for all those skills over time he didn't just get those overnight but you can really see that talent he's had since day one and how hungry he is to be a rapper. In every single song, you can hear how bad he wants it. That's another thing I love about it. It's also very timeless. I mean, it was released in 1996, like I said, 28 years ago. Maybe the production isn't as crazy as some other songs from back then, but it really shows that Eminem can make a track. He can speak at a timeless level to where I could be listening back. I wasn't even born when this came out and still get something from it. I strongly believe if you haven't heard Infinite, you should go back and check it out. You're gonna get something from it, especially if you like Eminem. It's really cool how Infinite set him up for success. Maybe it flopped right away, but like I said, years later, it's amazing. People love it. It's some of his fans' favorite albums. And without Infinite, he wouldn't be where he is today. He grew off of that. That was the baseline, and he just improved off that and got better and better every time. So with that being said, I want to see Eminem re-release this, and I know he might not have the royalties or the rights to those old beats, so he should either remaster them so that he can release it, he should make a part two, or he should just come to a deal and buy the rights. I mean, I don't know why he hasn't bought the rights to him. I don't know if they're just asking way too much, but if he were to make a part two, it'd be pretty crazy because we could get to see how much he's grown if he went back to that old production style that he honestly hasn't been on since. I don't know any Eminem jazz songs that are like on Infinite, so we could see how much he's evolved since then. It'd be definitely very nostalgic as well to see him go back to that old production. We'd get to hear the new soundscape of Eminem, you know, his new voice and everything, but he would be back on the old production, so it'd be very unique to hear that. Eminem could also use it to reflect throughout his whole career because in the beginning he's talking about what he wants out of a career now he could talk about what he's gotten out of a career it could be the perfect ending album honestly from eminem he could have collaborations from people like 50 cent dr dre you know those iconic names that he's partnered with throughout his whole career that helped him get to where he is today and just imagine the marketing to an infinite too we've seen the troll post that he made a couple weeks back in april fool's day but imagine him going back to literally day one more like day zero before he even blew up and getting the complete opposite side of his career that'd be just pretty crazy to see but in the end it really depends on his artistic vision i know he's been trying to do some i don't want to say pop records but like music to be murdered by had a lot of hooks from pop artists and infinite wouldn't really have that over the jazz production but if he wants to go back to that old day i'm here for it i want to hear that i want everyone to hear infinite if you haven't heard infinite Go search it up, go listen to it, let me know how much you like it. And yeah, that's something that I want to see. So that's pretty much all I had to talk about for this video. This is Eminem's album that's unknown by a lot of people. If you're a core Eminem fan and you've heard this, let me know how much you like it. If you want to see more Eminem videos, I have a playlist right up here. It's got tier lists, reviews, brackets, reactions, everything Eminem. It's got news on his new album, all that. So if you want to check it out, you can. If not, that's fine as well. Thank you for watching. Peace out.